And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which I ask my friends on the panel to blindfold themselves. Martin Gable is wearing a blindfold with poils because his own blindfold just broke and he had to borrow one from his wife, if you must know. The blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, Mystery Challenger, and sign in, please? panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. We ask questions, <coughs> ask questions one at a time in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin it all with Arlene Francis. Would your name be found in the entertainment columns in the newspapers? Master Would your name be found in the entertainment columns in the newspapers? Yeah. Mr. Sir. Are you of the masculine persuasion? <laughs> Are you a male? Yeah. Yeah. Miss Kilgallen? Have you ever been on this panel? Nine. One down and nine to go, Mr. Gable. Are you now appearing in a Broadway show? Nine. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Do you appear on television? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Sir? I... Are you on a regular weekly television show? Yeah, that's a show. <laughs> Miss Kilgallen? Are you something other than a comedian? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a difficult question to answer, darling. I don't want it to mislead the panel. Our guest is, as I think you probably already have learned from the reaction of the audience, a comedian of the first rank, but this does not deny he has other talents of substance. Mr. That Gable, are you... That's right, Johan, that's right. Yes, that's right. Yeah, Could it be that you play in the legitimate theater? Nine. That's uh, three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Uh... Come on, sweetie. <laughs> Are these your people? <laughs> what? Are these your people? These are my people. Uh, Well, you never got. It. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. And I studied all day. You studied all day. <laughs> you, were doing, you were doing great. I know. You're just doing fine. I was proud of you there. Then you just give it all you, away. Did guess. you bring a letter from Mama? No, but I better get one pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> I think I better explain that. Charlie Weaver has written a new book, which is called Letters from Mama, and it's as wonderfully warm and humorous and and kind and generous all at the same time as he Pretty is corny, himself. too. Well, you're a little corny, but it's a wonderful <laughs> corniness. I wish I had some of it, too, Charlie. Oh, this, this was just great. And, of course, he's on the Jack Parr show every... Well, every time you turn on the, the television set, it's Charlie's about every time there, you turn on the tube, I'm on. Every time you turn the tube on, there it is. Get Charlie, the yeah. did, he, did the Union really win the Battle of Gettysburg, do you think? Uh, no, but they tried. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they tried <laughs> still a rebel at heart, you know. But Why do you live at Gettysburg? I live in Gettysburg. I have a museum down there. 75 for adults, 35 for kids. <laughs> I throw that in, you know. I have a record album come out, too, John. You know, ah, so yes, I heard you were going to do it. Charlie Weaver sings for his people. And this is from Mount Ida? Oh, yeah, all of Mount Ida songs. Go oh, Mount... Oh, well, what, is, what is, is the, what is the, 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 the record's you, title going to be? Uh, well, Charlie Weaver sings for his people. But it'll be songs for, from the Mount Ida. Mount Ida, huh? yes. I have such things as Gomar come out of that sewer. <laughs> On what else? Should be a smash. <laughs> Should be, yes. And who'll sign the pardon for Wallace Swine? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely things. Was no it? rock and roll in there, you know. Was Wallace a, a relative of yours, my Yes, he was very sick. He was a small man, you know. Oh, was he? What did they put him away? When did they put him? I mean, why? <laughs> <laughs> they never say in Mount Ida. They just put him away. That's <laughs> <laughs> you 
it's been awful fun being here. Well, I must say it's been awful fun having you. I wish you hadn't given it away, Charlie. I never seen them oh, so completely misled. She knew. Oh, well, the minute you said that sentence, she knew. Yeah, because I, I called her sweetie one time in the palace bar. In the palace <laughs> bar? <laughs> when did you say they were going to give the parole to Wallace? Don't <laughs> <laughs> so she gets out. Don't <laughs> so she gets out. Charlie, thanks so much. You're a wonderful yeah. guest. Glad thanks. to have you thanks. with us. wonderful character that he plays and a wonderful man playing it. We'll be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. 